Ken Griffey Jr. I can't imagine there are many people in this club who have taken this harder than D. Gordon has, Dave. Some of the pictures we saw from yesterday. Yep. And he hits a high fly ball. This is deep to right field. He has homered for Jose. Circles the bases and now gets to home plate. His very first home run of this season. And he is overcome by emotion again. The 2-2. Two -two. Line drive, base hit. Souza cannot cut it off. It'll go to the wall. Gardner will score. A runs at second. He has an RBI double. And the Yankees have tied the game at one. That is cranked. Deep left. Gardner leaps. Did he grab? The pitch and a high drive hit back into deep right field. Junior has just from Flushing Queens baseball from the home of the Mets, City Field. Tonight, the opener of a three game series between the Pittsburgh Pirates and the New York Mets. Mets baseball starts right now. Jacob deGrom will be on the mound for the series opener. Harold, any thoughts? Well, it hasn't been a great year for him so far. I mean, he's had some ups and some downs. He's had some decent games, some poor games. An ERA in the fours. That tells me the story of his season has been inconsistency. Coming to the plate now, Starling Marte. He begins playing this one with his batting average over the 310 plateau. Swing and a liner. Foul. Very mild temperatures as we begin tonight. 58 degrees here at first pitch. Oh, and a nice changeup that time gets him to swing right through it as the leadoff man is down on strikes to open up the ball game. A chance here to check out the starting lineup for the visiting Pirates. What's the key for them to win this series opener, Harold? Well, Matt, this is a very aggressive club. They steal a lot of bases. They're not at the top of the league, but, man, they're right there. They're not far behind. They will run at every opportunity they get to try to force mistakes. One and one. Here it comes. A fastball that just misses inside. HR, these Mets as they enter play here tonight. They've been playing some pretty good baseball of late as they've won six of their last eight games. Yeah, Matt, I mean, it's been a pretty good homestand. They're three and one right now. They're playing good baseball, but that four and one really kind of separates them. That's why today's game's important. He's ready with the 2 2 pitch. Hit hard to the right side. Foul. He's just fouling him off till he gets something he wants to hit. The 2 2 one more time. Lifted the other way to left center. After it is Cespedes. And he tracks it down. A nice running play to record the second out. Stepping up now, Jung Ho Gong. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. And this ball's pretty well struck. High and deep to left field. But this one will bend foul. Had plenty of distance, though, as it landed in the upper deck. Good swing on a tough pitch, and he'll stick around to see another one. The next 3 2. Another one sent foul. Well, that's three foul balls in a row. He's definitely battling up there. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Another foul ball, and this battle will continue. That's four foul balls in a row. He's battling, no doubt. And he struck him out. A 10 pitch battle, but he finally wears him down as the inning is over. Down in order go the Pirates. And now the Mets offense will go to work for the first time. No score. Drew Hutchison gets the call for game one of the series. HR, what's the word on him? 
Well, Matt, he's got an ERA under four. Now, that's not great, and it's not bad either. He's consistent, and he's a very reliable pitcher. So the thing you like about him, give me the ball, I'm going to go get him, and then you get what you get. Into the box, Jose Reyes. And he really thrives in the batter's box here at home. Something to keep an eye on in this one. Now Reyes awaits the 1-1. One, one. And you wonder about the control now as he misses high with a slider. Harold, we look at this Pirates ball club as they enter play here tonight. They come in scuffling a bit of late, just two and four over their last six games. Well, Matt, their theme song, I heard it in the clubhouse. On the road again? Yeah, they are. I mean, it was a short home stand, and now they're back out there once again playing game one on the road. They may as well not unpack their bags. This is a tough trip again. Gosselin backs up a bit, and he takes charge for the first out. With a moment here in Flushing Meadows, let's meet the Mets. What's this club need to focus on this evening, H? Matt, this is a scary lineup. They've got power and they have speed. They score runs in all different ways. They hit the ball in the ballpark and they score on balls in the gap when you have a runner at first base. That's what speed, power combination can do. This is a very tough lineup. Striding in as Drupal Cabrera. And as you can see, he's had some troubles here in his own ballpark. That's something he'll look to improve upon in this one. And he misses two and one. And there are the umpires assigned to this one. Calling balls and strikes is Mr. Carl Dixon. Well, Matt, the interesting thing about Carl, look, pitchers struggle with balls on the corner. They don't like that he makes them throw the ball in the middle of the plate sometimes. But he will call that high pitch. So watch him attack the high pitch and try to get that strike. Well, that changeup right there sets up a lot of things. Now the count's two and two. He can come back in with a fastball, and it's going to look like it's moving a little bit better. Or he can go back to that changeup. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. High in the air into shallow left center. After it is Marte. He's got it, and there are two down now. Batting third. Left fielder. Here's the left fielder, Yoannis Espinosa. He carries the eighth best batting average in the National League entering play. Two and one now to Cespedes. Looking at strike two, a fastball that catches the inside corner. Two out, nobody on. Hard on the ground towards short. Gung's got it. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. Mets turned away here in the first. We'll head to the second at City Field. Nothing, nothing here on the show. Digging in, Andrew McCutcheon. He enters play at number six in National League batting average. The two and one on its way. And a ball popped foul to the right side out of play. Swing and a miss on the fastball and that's the first down. All right, time for the majestic defensive alignment for the Mets. And in the outfield, Yoannis Cespedes, this guy's got maybe the best arm in all of baseball. It seems like every time there's a big moment or a big play, he comes up gunning, and he's gunning guys at the plate. He is so fun to watch throw. Josh Harrison stands in. In previous duels with DeGrom, he's gone three for 11. He's also been a strikeout victim six times. Hit hard back up the middle. And a good effort on the dive that time, but this will get by him for a base hit. A lot of base hits up the middle. Set your sights up the alleys and try to take Not it back up the middle hard like you did right here. Nice job. David Free. Here's David Freeze to stand in. And the home away splits tell us he's actually quite a bit better hitting on the road than he is at home. One and one, here it is. He's running towards second. Now a ball swung on and heading for the stands in right, and that'll move the count to one and two now. No score here as we play inning number two. He's on the move again from first. Pitch outside, the throw. Tag made by Walker, and he's out at second. 
well. So much for that first hit of the game. Tried to press their luck and move him up to second with the steal, but it didn't work out. Set to deal on two and two. Swing and a ball hit on the ground, but a foul ball as it holds it two and two. Well, he's out in front of that breaking ball right there. Not surprised. I was after that fastball. Nice job of pitching. Kind of keeping him off balance. Swing, and that's hit out of play up into the plaza level. Oh, he definitely got away with a changeup right there. He hung that one, but the good news. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. Bucks go down quietly. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. It is Curtis Granderson. His average for the year sits in the 280s entering play. And Granderson trying to work his way aboard. He's got it to three and one now. Well, that sets up a big pitch right here, Matt, because you don't want to lose the leadoff guy in a scoreless game. It's tough to work around the leadoff walk. Did you see the movement on that pitch? Started right at him and came back over the plate. That is that two-seamer with great movement. The three-two one more time. Ground ball right side. Gosselin from the outfield grass. Throw to first is in time for the first down. All right, time for majestic defensive Second alignment for the Pirates. And I'm looking down there at the catcher, Francisco Cervelli. If you're tired, you better wake up because he's going to snap the ball back at you as the pitcher. He's going to make the game move and exciting. He's a throwback. Old school Cervelli. Here's Neil Walker. He was not much of a factor at the plate during yesterday's win as he took an 0 for 4 line. Bottom of the second here with no score. Walker lays off there. It's two balls and a strike. The pitch. And he misses low here, so the count goes to three and one. Call didn't go his way on two and one, but it's important here on three and one to still make a quality pitch. You have to have the mindset that you're still the one in the driver's seat. Called a strike, and it's full three and two. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. There's a swing, and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. Back goes Polanco. See you later. Over the wall, a home run. A solo home run here for Neil Walker. Eighth home run on the season for him. And the Mets are on the board first, one to nothing. Well, he tried to sneak a fastball by him, and like they always say, you can't sneak the cheese by the rat, particularly if it's up high like that one right there. Now at the plate, Jay Bruce. As you get a look at his current righty-lefty splits entering play in this one. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. And a slider runs in on him as he has to lean out of the way. Pretty good pitch and a great take there. There's not a lot you could do with that slider breaking down on it unless you can catch it way out front and hook it down the line. You see a lot of swinging misses on those. Throw on to first, two gone. In now, Lucas Duda. He comes into play with a batting average in the respectable 270s. 0 oh 2 count. Here's the pitch. And he just gets a piece there as this is chopped foul.
And there's one well above the zone for a ball. Boy, if you're going to throw a pitch like that to this guy, you have to make sure it's up above the zone like that. He can't do a whole lot with that, but if it were a little lower, he can and will make you pay big time. To two, two balls. balls and two strikes now. We're in the second, one nothing Mets early on. The slider freezes him at the plate. A called third strike, and the inning comes to a close. Some of our nation's young minds and future leaders here in attendance. Yikes. We're back to Friday Night Baseball on the show after this. Digging in, Phil Gosselin in previous duels with DeGrom, 0 for 5. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. Just staying alive, putting together a really good at bat here. Payoff pitch one more time. Swing and a miss as he starts the third the same way he ended the second with a punch out one away. Another strikeout for him on the mound and boy is it fun to watch him go about his business. Ah, no doubt Matty he's one of my favorites mostly because of his stuff. You know he can absolutely dominate on any given day because of what he offers up there. It's just nasty. There aren't many hitters that like to see this guy on the mound. Into the windup here's the two and one pitch. Hit on the ground to third. And a base hit as that's in the left, and they've got themselves a base runner. This is the type of batter pitchers hate to face. He's not a guy that's going to swing and miss often. He battles and battles, and he's a tough out, puts the ball in play. It's a lot of hits. He's a tough at bat. Standing in now, Drew Hutchison. And they'll try and play for one here as he gets this one down. To Cabrera for one. Relay to first in time. And just like that, this side is retired. One hit in the inning, but no one left. We'll move on to the bottom of inning number three. Mets out in front, one to nothing. So digging in now, Travis Darno for his career in this matchup. One for four. And here's a ball hit in the air. Harrison in foul ground. Makes the play one away. So striding in, Jacob DeGrom. He'll get to take his first cuts here. One one pitch is a circle change. It hits the target one and two. Chopped weakly to the left. Gong scoops it up in time to first, and there are two away. Third baseman, number seven. Digging okay. in for a second at bat, Jose Reyes. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Two and two count, here it comes. Swing and a liner toward the gap in left center. Now a dive, but he can't get there, and this is going to be trouble out there in left center. Reyes at full speed. Look at him fly. He's headed for third. And he'll get in there safely. And that's the chance you take when you lay out for a ball First like that. Drop, you make the play 13. and you're a hero on the highlight and shows. Dribble. You miss it and you're picking yourself up and chasing after it. Here now is his Dribble Cabrera. He's coming off a month in which he earned National League Player of the Month recognition. Got to find the strike zone. Here's the 3 0. Mine to the right side. A leaping try, but it's out of his reach and into the outfield. And that'll score the run from third as they go up two to nothing now. That was his 600th RBI oh, of his career. And to come on a base hit, that's something you'll always remember. Stepping in now, 
Yoenis Cespedes. Outside, two and one. Well, you can't fall back any further. This team they're playing right now is just too good. They're one of the best teams in the league, and they capitalize on mistakes. You got to get out of this inning if you want to have a chance to win this game. Hit on the ground out to short. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. Mets played a run on a couple of hits. On now to the top of inning number four. The Mets are out on top, two to nothing. Back with Harold Reynolds and Dan Plezak, Matt Vaskersian as Starling Marte steps in to start the inning. And now a pitch on the way. Drill down the line. Reyes fields it cleanly. Throw to first in time. One gone here in the fourth. The left fielder number 25. Digging in to try Gregory it again. Gregory Polanco comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Here comes the 3-1 pitch pulled toward right center field. Granderson is under it. And that's the second out of the inning. The batter, Jung Ho. And that'll bring up the versatile Jung Ho Gun. He's 0 for 1 thus far. No runs, two hits, and no errors so far for the Pirates. Good hard slider at 88. It's one and two now. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. And he just misses with a curveball. Well, that's what you want from your curveball on one and two. You start it in the zone and let it break out of the zone where it can't be punished. There's a swing and a drive, and everybody's just going to sit back and watch that one fly. A no doubt home run. So a solo shot here to left center field eighth home run on the season for him as the Bucks have struck for a run it's now a two to one score. Well they were smart not to challenge him with a fastball but it didn't matter. He's their big dog for a reason so we waited stayed back and absolutely exploded through the zone on that one. In now, Andrew McCutcheon. Throw into second. Throw won't get him. And this might be the kind of A-B that gets him out of that slump. Smart hitting here. Just going with the pitch, using the whole field instead of trying to do too much. The results speak for themselves. Into the box now, Josh Harrison. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and it's one and two. Here's the one and two delivery. And this is popped foul off to the right and back into the seats. Well, when you're hitting with two strikes, you're just in battle mode. Right there, he gets a breaking ball. He just fouled it off. Got a piece of it and stays alive. A dive, but he can't knock it down. It's through for a base hit. And the runner from second is in to score. Whoa, those two out base hits. Those will kill the other team right there. He comes up with a big hit to tie this game. David Freed. Into the box. David Freed. In there, a base hit. Oh, and he can't come up with it. Harrison is on his way home. The runner from first comes all the way around to score. Well, you're not always going to hit the good pitches. You hit the mistakes. And that one no hung up there, 15, a mistake. Nice piece of hitting. Phil Gosselin. Now at the plate, Phil Gosselin. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Three runs already home here. Fly ball out to straightaway right. Bruce has a read on it. Oh, no, he missed it. In to score, the runner from second. 
And he will make it all the way to third now as that mistake proves a costly one indeed. Well, that's the difference between a harmless error and a costly one. With the Francisco bases empty, that doesn't Cervelli. hurt that much, but with a man on, that allows a run to score. Stepping in now, Francisco Cervelli. Now a ball lined toward the alley in left center. That gets down, and the inning will continue. And they'll extend their lead even further as the runs in to score from third. It's 5-2. to two. And he is in to second base with an RBI double. So much of this game is situational hitting, guys. Nice job there. Yeah, you've got to find a way to pick your teammates up when you're given the chance. And he doesn't try to do too much right here. He just takes what's there safely on second and his buddy is high-fiving teammates in the dugout swing and a miss and it's a ball and two strikes here two strikes on the hitter and two outs i like this you got to get this out here you don't want them to drive in a run and you go to got him looking and that'll do it the inning is over so a very good outburst here is five runs come across and allow them to take the lead to the bottom of inning number four we go bucks out in front five to two It is Curtis Granderson. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Now here it comes. And this misses, so that'll fill the count at 3 and 2. Looking to fade his first walk. Here it comes. And this is fouled back and out of play. Well, he fouls off that fastball right there, and you wonder, does he love his fastball enough to come back with it three times in a row? Bounce to the right, into the loaded-up infield. Gong charging this one. Throw just in time, and oh, that was awfully close. Up next for the man. Second Trying to run. pick things up where Neil. he left off. Neil Walker. He went deep in his first at-bat, and we'll see what he's got in store for us here. Ready to deal. Here's the 1 1. That nibbled the corner there, but missed 2 and 1. Oh, and not an easy pitch to lay off of, but he did somehow, and he's got it to 3 and 1. Well, he doesn't have any walks yet. He's going to have to come in the zone right here and really avoid throwing that first walk of the game. And a changeup couldn't get him to bite, and it's ball four. Hey, when a guy homers off you early in the game, the last thing you want to do is challenge him and maybe have him do it again. He was a lot more careful with him there. So a runner at first with one man gone and stepping in the dangerous left-handed hitter, Jay Bruce. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. In the dirt here. Runner holds as the count moves to 2-1. and one. Come on. Set to deliver on 2-1. and one. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Polanco has a read on it. Two down. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. First baseman number 21. Here's Lucas Duda Lucas. now. 0 for 1 Duda. after he took a look at strike three in his first plate appearance. Count is full. Here's the pitch. And this is going to be a foul ball. Fourth inning here already a 5 to 2 score. He gets dirty, but he can't make the play. It's a base hit. Well, Matt, that's the sixth game. He's got a base hit, and now you got to start a streak that's somewhere. Right. I start paying attention I about six games. He's swinging about pretty good. Ready for another chance? Travis Darno. Two men on, two away here in the fourth. Ready with the 3 1. Takes a knee high fastball. Working for the punch out and the offering. 
Now a swing and a ball popped high in the air over toward foul ground. And he'll lunge out of the crouch to put this one away. Good reactions there, and the inning is over. Two left for the Mets, and the deficit remains 5-2. to two. Here's Starling Marte. And, Dan, I'm sure the starter on the mound would like to hit the rewind button on that last inning. Oh, no doubt about that, Mac. That was a really rocky frame, but clearly not enough to chase him from this game. We'll see if he's still shaking a bit or if he's able to put this behind him. There's a high foul ball as it finds a lucky fan in the upper deck for a souvenir. Pitch swung on and hit in the air. After it is Granderson. Makes the play one away. The left fielder number Here's Gregory Polanco. Gregory he comes in 0 for 2 Polanco. thus far. Lays off that time and it's one and two. I have no issue wasting a pitch on 0 and 2 to try to get a guy to go fishing, but it has to be somewhat tempting. You're not going to get anyone to swing at a bat at that pitch. Pro gets him, two down. And that'll bring up the versatile Jung Ho Gun. Comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. And now here comes Met skipper Terry Collins out to home plate, and it looks like we'll see a double switch here. Seth Lugo will come on to pitch These now as he'll move the into match. the eighth spot in the now lineup on the double switch the here. TJ Rivera is into the ball Seth game as well Lugo. as he'll slide into the pitcher's now spot, hitting ninth, ninth spot. now on the double Number switch. 54, TJ Rivera. We're in the fifth inning here. 5 2 is our score. Takes this the other way to right, and he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. One, two, three, go the Pirates, and it remains five to two. And that brings up the catcher, T.J. Rivera. First at bat of the game for him here in the fifth, as he was a late entrant into this one. And some action now in the Pirates' bullpen. They've got a lefty and a right-hander up to throw. And this ball runs away for ball two, two and one. Inside for a ball as he falls behind to him here, three and one. One thing that could nag at you as a pitcher is having to work really hard to get a guy that you think you should be able to cruise right through. He's not known for his offensive prowess, but he's putting together a real nice at bat here. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Polanco has a read on it, and he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. Third baseman, number seven. Digging Jose in and looking for more, Reyes. Jose Reyes. One for two with a triple so far in this one. From the windup, the 1-1 one, one pitch. Two oh, and one. Into the windup, here's the two and one pitch. Change up stayed low that time for ball three. Waiting on deck is Drupal Cabrera. And he turns on this one and yanks it foul and back out of play. He's ready. Now the payoff pitch. Skied into straightaway right. McCutcheon is under it. And he makes the catch for the second out. The shortstop, number 13. Riding in once Drubal again as Drubal Cabrera. He's singled in two trips to the plate thus far. Ready on three and one. Here it comes. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. Look, Matt, he's done a nice job getting those first two outs. I mean, look, this is a good hitting team. And now you got the two hitter coming to the middle of the order. But you can limit the damage by getting those first two outs. I think he's limited the damage so far this inning. And here's Polanco to make the catch, and that ends the inning. Nothing doing here this half. Five innings complete. It's the Pirates five and the Mets two. Digging in and looking for more, Andrew McCutcheon. He doubled earlier in the game, one for two to this point. 
The 1 1 now to McCutcheon. Yanked on the ground down the line. And a reach to his backhand, but he can't come up with it, and the leadoff man's aboard. He's got to feel good about himself. A multi hit game. He knows he's been struggling. We now know he's been struggling. Third Maybe third. this is the start of good Josh things to come. Harrison. Josh Harrison stands in. A couple of singles to his credit thus far. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. The pitch, a fastball off his glove, and it bounds away. And he'll make it in easily at second, as I'd imagine that'll be scored a passed ball. A ball and two strikes. Here it is. Hit on the ground to third. And that's through into left, a base hit. McCutcheon rounds third and is digging for the plate. Out at the plate as they slap the tag on him. First base to number 23. David stepping in and ready for another shot. David Freeze. He's one for two in the ball game. He's set. Here's the three and two. And he swings and pops it foul behind the plate. And he'll put this one away in foul territory for the second out. Ready for another shot now. Phil Gosselin. 0 for 2 on his line thus far. Gosselin. 3 and 0. Oh, here it is. In the dirt. And he'll make it the second here as he's moved into scoring position now after the passed ball. Here's a swing and a ground ball. But this will wind up foul as he runs the count full now. 5-2 is our score here in inning number six. And this is swung on and missed, though he will need to do a little housekeeping at first. And he'll reach first as they can't make the play on him. And not what he wanted to do there is now they'll need four Francisco outs to get out of this inning. Cervelli. Striding in once again, Francisco Cervelli. He doubled earlier and carries a two for two line into this appearance. Rene Rivera, Rivera is into the ball game here as he game. takes over Ultimate. behind the plate. Now catching number He said, here comes the 1-1. One, one. And that one stayed up a little high. Well, I know the last thing he wants to do is load the bases right here. So the pressure is on right now to get back in the strike zone. And got him to go down after that one, and it's two and two. Five runs, nine hits, and no errors so far for the Pirates. And now a swing and a ball hit hard back up the middle. And that'll get by into center field for a base hit. And the runner from third crosses the plate. Two out, two strikes, down to the last strike of the inning, and he's able to no, hang in there. And drive the ball for a base hit. Drew Good job of battling right there. John Jason will start to loosen up in the on deck circle as he'll bat with two on and two out here. John Jason. Swing and a pop up behind home plate, and that'll get out of play and into the VIP seats full count here it comes there's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field back goes Bruce still ranging back and that one is gone on a two strike count with two away in the inning so it's a three run shot to straight away right field home run number five on the year as this is now a seven run ball game. It looked like he might just work out of that inning only giving up a single run but it all comes crashing down on that mistake nothing like a three run bomb to change the entire complexion of your day on the mound. Standing in now Starling Marte good job to spoil that one away and he stays alive. Whoa, he tried to get a little cute right there, a little two-strike changeup. He thought he might get a swing and miss, but man, he left that in the zone. He's fortunate that ball didn't leave the park. One and two, here it comes. Now a ball pulled hard but fouled off to the left. That's a nice job of staying alive. A two-strike breaking ball just out of the zone. He was able to put enough on it. Oh, and that ball's absolutely crushed down the line. Forget about it. That's going to stay fair and make it back-to-back -back home runs. 
It's a solo shot off the bat of Starling Marte. Home run number nine on the year as they have widened this lead to eight now. In the job description of reliever, there's no mention of back to back homers, but there is a need for a short memory. We'll see if he can put those two bombs behind him. Into the box now, Gregory Polanco. That's a ball. And he lays off for a ball, two and one. Set to deliver on two and one. A high fastball is in there. Now a pitch swung on and hit to the left side, but this is going to find the seats a foul ball. Smoked on the ground up the middle, and that's through for his first base hit in this one. So Jung Ho Gung will get a chance to hit here following the two out hit. And the hits just keep on a coming against this arm. Yeah, Matt, I'm not sure how much longer they can leave him out there. Not only is he hurting the team, it's probably doing some damage to his psyche as well. Drilled right back up the middle. That gets through and he'll reach base again on his second base hit of the game. So now they'll have runners on the corners with two away. Three, two count, two outs. Everybody knows the runner's going. Put the ball in play. And he did. Andrew now you're sitting McCutcheon. first and third with an opportunity to drive that run in. Into the box, Andrew McCutcheon. And he misses with it for ball four. So the bases will be loaded now with two away. Ready for another chance. Josh Harrison. He's working on a three hit ball game right now. Sliced hard but foul. Look out over there. Hit the other way out toward right field. Bruce has a read on it and that ends the inning. So give him five runs in the inning with the big blows being the two home runs. Part of the order three four and five coming up. It's the Bucks 10 and the Mets 2. Your Wade LeBlanc please. enters to do the now pitching in the, the bottom of the sixth. Number 38, Wade LeBlanc. Ready once again, Yoannis Cespedes in his career against this pitcher, 0 for 7. 1 and 1, here it comes. A good knee-high changeup taken for a strike. One and two. Now a swing, and he just fouls this one away. Two strike changeup, but he was able to foul it off just enough to fight it off to get another pitch. That's a tough pitch to hit with two strikes. And that's a swinging strike three in the dirt. Cervelli corrals it, and he makes the throw to first. Cespedes. He's retired and there's one Center away. Fielder. Good Number job three. of getting him to chase the ball in the Fair dirt right there. Hey, also Fair credit the catcher for keeping it close and finishing it off with a good throw to first. That's harder than it looks, but big league catchers make it look easy sometimes. Stepping in now, Curtis Granderson. Squared that one up just a little late. Into the windup. Here comes the 2 2 pitch. And another foul ball. Ready with another 2 2. Right side and right into the shift. Gung is there. Throw gets him. Two down. Here's Neil Walker. It was a walk in his last trip. Bases are empty here with two men out. That's in there, and it'll run the count to full. Three and two. And now a pitch on the way. And that misses ball four. And now the Mets have themselves a two-out base runner. Hey, that was a great battle right there. He tried to get him to chase, but he laid off some really tough pitches and got a walk. Got to tip the cap to the batter that time. Yeah. 
He's set and the 2 1 pitch. Pitch is a cold strike. The throw. And it skips in as he steals the bag easily. I like the decision to steal right there, and it worked out. With two outs, there's not a lot to lose if you get caught, but if you get there successfully, all of a sudden you're just a single to the outfield from pushing a run across. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. Mets leave one, and the lead stays at eight. It's 10 to 2. Welcome back to City Field in Flushing. This one pretty much all over but the shouting as we check our game summary to see how we've gotten to where we are. Here's David Freeze to stand in and he'll get us started in what's officially the back third of this one. He's set and the one two pitch. Slider stayed too low ball two. He's ready with the two two pitch fastball swung on and missed for the first down. Hey, any time a pitcher locates a fastball on the inside so corner, it's going to be a tough base. pitch to hit. That one was spot on, and he had no answer for it. Standing in now, Phil Gosselin. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field, and that is off the wall in right field. Well that ball was scorched and I know it didn't hit the wall in the air but it gets to the wall. He still no made a good decision not Accurate. to go to second to go Francisco back to the first base. I think Cervelli. had he continued on he probably would have been out. Into the box now Francisco Cervelli in for his strike and he jumps ahead one and two now. Well that pulled him right there. Clearly he was not sitting on that curveball. He couldn't pull the trigger. Hit hard. But foul. Oh, he might have got away with one. Two strike breaking ball that ended up being in the zone. I think he probably won that out of the zone, but fortunately, he just fouled it off. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. A two and two count. Here's the pitch. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. Now a swing and the barrel of the bat breaks in two that time. Throw on to first, two gone. Now batting, the pitcher. Digging in, Wade, Wade LeBlanc. LeBlanc. He's newly entered into the ball game, so this will be his first trip to the plate here in inning number seven. A little late on this one as it's lifted the other way down the left field line. Cespedes is there and he'll make the catch to retire the side. One Ladies left and for Pittsburgh, it's time. and the it's lead stays at eight. It's strike. ten to two. Here's Lucas Duda now. One for two on his line so far in the game. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right-handers starting to loosen up. Here we go. No, and that one stayed too low, apparently. <laughs> And that's in there above the belt, so it's even now. Two and two. Here's the pitch. Swing and a liner. But this will be a foul ball. And he misses this one inside, and that'll run things full. Three and two. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Skied in the air to straightaway left. On the move is Polanco. He's there and records the first down. Now batting. Pitcher. Set. Lugo. Juan Ligaris will move into the on-deck circle now to try to get something started here with one gone in the inning. Bases are empty. One man out. Top foul over towards the dugout. Another payoff pitch. 
And he lays off. Ball four. So he comes right off the bench and works the walk. Usually easier said than done. Well, he battled to get it to a 3-2 count, but that pitch wasn't even close. Now he's got a man on with one out, so he's got to focus on trying to get the ground ball. From the belt, kicks and deals. And this one's tapped foul at home plate. Deal. Payoff pitch one more time. Boy, and he just won't go away as he fights off another pitch and hits it foul right at the plate. The next 3 2. And now he's on the move again for second. He spoils another one and will do it again. He'll try it again, three and two. Again, he's off for second. Slow roller back to the mound. And he won't even think about second as he'll flip on to first for the sure out. Digging in the switch hitter, Jose Reyes. It was a fly out for him in his last trip. Good lead off a second there, now the pitch. Swing and a little tapper. And that will conclude matters here in the seventh. Mets strand one, and the lead stays at eight. It's ten to two. Your Fernando Salas late. comes on to now pitch now, for hoping for better Mets. results than the Number other arms 59. that they've run out there in this Fernando one. Salas. Trying to pick things up where he left off. Starling Marte. His career numbers in this matchup. He's gone two for six. Fastball called strike three and there's the first out of the inning. The tail of the tape not all that pretty so far. Ten to two our score as we meander toward a conclusion to this one. Here's Gregory Polanco. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. A one and one count. Here's the pitch down the first baseline and a heck of an effort over there at first but it'll be for naught as this is a foul ball ready on one and two on the ground to third throw in time at first for out number two Up next for Pittsburgh. into the box Jung Ho Gong he went deep earlier and he's two for four to this point here's the one and two and a fastball swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. Down in order go the Pirates. And the lead stays at eight. It's ten to two. Digging in once again as Drupal Cabrera. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the one two. Ooh, good change up just missed inside. Now Cabrera awaits the 2 2. This is fouled back and out of play into the VIP seats behind home plate. High in the air out to center field. Marche is under it. One down. The left fielder number 52. Here's the left fielder, Yoenis Cespedes. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. And the changeup is way low that time. Well, when you're behind an account like this pitcher is, it's a good time to work in something off speed if you're confident in it. Most hitters are looking for fastball. 2 1 pitch is a cut fastball taken for strike two. This one's flared toward left center. Gung backs up and takes care of it. Two away. Center fielder. Now at the Number plate, three. Curtis Granderson. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Granderson waits on the 1 2. Swing and a miss, and that ends the inning. Down in order go the Mets, and the lead stays at eight. It's 10 to 2. Now, 
beautiful look there outside the home of the Mets here in Flushing as we welcome you back for the ninth. So striding in Andrew McCutcheon lifetime in this matchup 0 for 5. And the pitch on two and one and he'll try to hold back the swing but he'll do so unsuccessfully as that's ruled a strike. The pitch. Swung on and missed really fooled him that time for the first down. Baseman, Stepping five. up to the plate, Josh, Josh Harrison. Harrison. He's working on a three-hit ball game right now. Over for a look here is Cespedes, but he won't have a play. It's a foul ball. The one and two pitch. Again, he sends it out of play. Now another one two. And he just misses with a curveball. Well, you talk about fighting. He's fouling balls off, fouling them off in a one-two count. He finally took a ball right there. I wonder if he feels more confident or he wants to keep swinging. Throw gets him, two down. Now batting, the first baseman. So striding David forward now, Freeze. David Freeze. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Just does manage to get a piece there as this is bounced foul. I like the pitch right there. Got it to chase a fastball out of the zone. I'd come back with it again. And there's strike three. So we'll see now if they can manage to hold on to this huge lead as the side is retired. One, two, three, go the Pirates. And the lead stays at eight. It's ten to two. Tony Watson enters the game from the pen. And because this is a non-safe situation, it's evident that they're just trying to get him some work after having not thrown in several days. Yeah, and this is all about just getting him some work, guys. He hasn't had a chance to come in and close the game out for several days now, so they're just hoping they can keep him sharp and give him the chance to pitch in a real game situation here. Here's the one and one delivery. Looks at a changeup that catches the corner. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Change up, cold strike three as he rolls his eyes at the call, one away. Well, no preferential treatment there. Sometimes we see great hitters have their calls go their way on close pitches, but not this time. I think that was actually a good take, but on two strikes, anything that close can go either way. Into the box, Jay Bruce sliced hard on the ground. Throw on to first will get him score at 5-3 on the putout, though it looked more like a 6-3 ground ball. ball. Nevertheless, Luka. there are two away now. Duda. Digging in to try it again. Lucas Duda. It was a fly out for him in his last trip. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One -one. Taken called strike two, and now they're down to their final strike tonight. Look out. That one almost got away from him. Two and two now. Hey, that's a classic piece of pitching right there. You have to back hitters away from the plate to make them a little bit uncomfortable. Now, swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. It seemed like everyone had a hand in this win, and that's usually the case when you win a game by eight runs. Feels good to dominate a game like that. Ten to two, the final in this game. The Buckos slugged their way to victory with 15 hits. Drew Hutchison earns win number four on the season. So that just about does it for Harold Reynolds, Dan Plezak, and our crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way on over to theshownation.com. Here now is our final line score tonight for the victorious Pirates. Ten runs, 15 hits, no errors. Here's the 0-1. This is going to be a tough play. Bryant, the Cubs win the World Series! Bryant makes the play! It's over! And the Cubs have finally won it all! 8-7-10. Here's the 0-1. 
Story hits it high and deep right field. Way back and gone! Three-run bomb. Welcome to the big leagues, Trevor Story.